To acquire quality data, you need stable, precisely triggered illumination. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to install and configure our PX2 Pulsed Xenon Light Source. Remember, the PX2 produces ultraviolet radiation that can cause permanent eye damage. Always wear safety eyewear during operation and never look directly into the light source. To avoid exposure to dangerous voltages, do not run the PX2 unless the housing is on and closed. And remember, always allow the lamp to cool before handling. The setup procedure differs depending on your spectrometer. If you're using our 2000 series models with the 10-pin connector, you can connect to the PX2 by plugging the USB ADP PX2 serial adapter into the connector on the spectrometer. For the USB 4000, USB 2000 Plus, and HR 2000 spectrometers with the 20-pin connector, skip the first column of pins, pins 1A and 1-2, when plugging in the serial adapter. Connect the DB15 cable that came with your PX2 to the USB ADP PX2 and then connect your PX2 light source. For the other spectrometers, use the HR4000 CBL BB ribbon cable to connect the spectrometer's 30-pin connector. Then attach the DB15 cable from the ribbon cable to the PX2's 15-pin connector. The breakout box offers another option for connecting the PX2 to our spectrometers with the 30-pin connector. The breakout box is a passive module that separates the signals from the 30-pin port of the spectrometer into an array of standard connectors and headers. You'll want to use the breakout box if you need multiple interfaces to your spectrometer. Please note that if you are connecting the breakout box to the USB 4000 spectrometer, you must first attach the USB ADP BB adapter to the spectrometer. Use the HR4000 CBL BB ribbon cable to connect your spectrometer to the 30-pin connector on the breakout box. Then connect the DB15 cable to the J2 connector on the breakout box. Connect the other end to your PX2. Now that you're connected, you'll need to configure the PX2 to operate with your instrument and your system software. First, connect the PX2 to the rest of your experiment by attaching the optical fiber to the SMA905 connector on the front panel of the PX2. Next, turn on the PX2 using the power switch on the rear of the unit. The PX2 can operate in either multiple mode or single mode. In multiple mode, each integration period features a constant number of flashes. The pulse rate is determined by the spectrometer. In single mode, a single lamp flash occurs during each integration period. Set the PX2 for the appropriate mode using the TTL switch on the rear panel. In order to use your light source with your spectrometer, you'll need to configure the operating software. Before you go any further, be sure you have the latest version of SpectraSuite software. To verify the update, visit OceanOptics.com, click Technical, and then click Software Downloads. You can view our Getting Started with SpectraSuite videos all available on Spectroscopy TV. Once your software is up to date, you'll need to determine the appropriate integration time for your application. The system will use this integration time to adjust the flash rate of the light source depending on the mode you've selected. The PX2 can operate at repetition rates ranging from 1 to 220 Hz. For single mode operation, you can modify the flash rate by changing the integration time using SpectraSuite. The minimum integration time is 5 milliseconds. Use the integration time control at the top of SpectraSuite to select the integration time. If you're using multiple mode, select Spectrometer, then Spectrometer Features. Click on the Continuous Strobe tab and enter the Continuous Strobe Delay. Be aware that the Continuous Strobe setting 
will be reset to the default if you go back and change the integration time. You've successfully connected and configured your PX2 Xenon light source and are now ready to begin acquiring data. You'll find video tutorials on using your Ocean Optic spectrometer at spectroscopytv.com. For more information about specifications or pin out data for the PX2, please see your operating manual. If you have questions about using your light source, visit oceanoptics.com to access our knowledge base or chat with an Ocean Optics support specialist.